Ruth Bader Ginsburg. This morning, as we celebrate the start of Women's History Month, Amazon Books editorial director Sarah Gilman brought us some of her favorite books by and about remarkable women. Good morning. How are you doing? Great. How are you? All right. So let's start off with a book that we just mentioned. Uh, a is for awesome. 23 iconic women who changed the world. So I already like the cover. I already right? like the cover, Nate. Right. Look. Maybe you recognize Ruth, someone on the cover. Oprah. That's Malala. Yep. I love that. this. So yeah. this is a board book. It's by influencer Eva Chen. And it's just so much fun. It highlights all these amazing women. Everyone from sort of the expected, like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, to the unexpected. There's Nobel Prize winning crystallographer Dorothy Hodgkin. So you will definitely learn something when you read it. I read this to my boys all the time, and mm. they absolutely love it. I'm taking that one home. <laughs> I'm thinking, I want to get that one, too. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get it, too. We'll get to The world of sports is dominated by men, you said, but the author of your next pick is working to change that. Yes. Who, who you, who so this is good for a girl, Lauren Fleshman. And I feel like if you don't know her name, you should. She is a retired elite runner, and her peers include Paula Radcliffe and Shalane Flanagan. But I think more people don't know who Lauren is, and they absolutely should. So this is part memoir and a part rallying cry for female athletes who just face this insane body pressure to have this ideal body that can have really horrible effects later in life, everything from osteoporosis to yeah, infertility. The title. Now, the fans of uh, the, the podcast Serial recognize the next author who has turned the attention to herself. Right. So, Rabia Chaudhry, this is called Fatty Fatty Boom Boom, mm. and she was a lawyer for Adnan Saeed. So, her family moved from Pakistan when she was just a little girl, and they quickly discovered all the fast and greasy food that America had to offer, and it kicked off this lifelong battle with her weight. And it's humbling to read about a woman who has done so much She's so accomplished, but really her self-worth is what's on the scale. Next book, you call it Eye-Opening and Refreshingly Frank, Danielle Prescott. Yeah, this is Token Black Girl. It's a memoir by a fashion and beauty insider who grew up right outside of New York in a really affluent community where she was one of the only black people, and she felt ashamed by her blackness. Mm. She's reading books like Sweet Valley High and where perfection equals white yeah. and blonde, blonde and she blue, didn't yeah. yeah she didn't fit into that so she goes into the world of magazines and realizes like firsthand the disproportionate effect that these can have on black women and girls yeah. and finally there's a new memoir by pamela anderson yes this is love pamela this is slightly unexpected for women's history month i feel like the 90s were not kind to women in the public eye and mm -hmm. a lot of us myself included kind of wrote Pamela Anderson off because of how she looks or what we read about her. But this book is really her strip bare. She is so vulnerable in it, and she tells a story in her own words. It includes her original poetry, and you see her commitment both as a mother and as an and activist. And she's got the documentary, too. I hear yeah. great things about the book and the documentary. They're it's both good to see great. Pamela getting her just due. Everybody yes. is raving about it. She finally yeah. gets her voice, which I yes. think is what this month is about. I like how you even said, Sarah, many people wrote her off, including me. Yeah. But Pamela's coming back. Oh, she's great. Making it clear. Mm. Thank I'm you. Sorry, Sarah. Pamela. It's yeah. no, I'm sorry, Pamela. <laughs> it's good to have you. Always have good suggestions. Thank, Thank you yeah. so much.